All right, guys, welcome back. We got a red shirt down at the end of this walk right here. But nonetheless, I digress. It is the first day of the week. Um, be at a blessed place this week, guys, because uh, if you think God will grant you reprieve, you're probably really not ready for... Um, the work that he's go he has in your life, he has for your life, you chosen ones out there. Um, this is something he's preparing us for, you know, as a body. And so, understand that, remember that, that... <sighs> Don't doubt what you see, commit it to God. And he will work these things out for you. Um, as you witness through them. Yes, the witchcraft is prevalent and very heavy in society because of these times. A lot of these, um, adver the spiritual adversary of Christ is overcome by this world already. Has had the witchcraft laid on heavy already. You know, and so there, look... Let the spirit of Esau live it up until... Because this is his time, you know. Uh, and then the destruction comes. The day of, the, the, the day of reckoning um, will catch, these, catch him unaware as a, thief in the, as, as a thief in the night. And so, look, they are, they are not in preparation of the Lord's judgment... And are completely will completely be caught off unaware when that day comes, okay? And that's something to definitely take note of is when you're not a believer, you're apt to being used at at any level, at any measure by Satan, unbeknownst to them or not. It's really not our concern, guys. We know that we know because of our witness and um, it's not to be taken as a form of self-aggrandizement where we're building upon the own natural things of our, our flesh accord but to commit what we doubt so that the spirit can abound in our lives and um, it's really only something that we can know uh, because of our witness and what we're going through in these times you know and so it's not for them, you know. That's just not. They're they're going to. Their time will come. Um, there's a difference between the spirit being like the wind. You know, we don't know where the Holy Spirit comes from, and we don't know where it goes. But we know that it is this way with all you know of those believers who have it, as compared to those who are of the flesh accord, who. Since they have no spirit, that flesh accord will return to dust. And it, it, look guys, it doesn't take a prophet to see that. It takes an examination of a, a willing, uh, an open heart to receive the Holy Spirit and be enlightened by what God's Word is telling us. And so, yes, understand that, you know, one more time and, and kind of to, to refocus us is, do you challenge yourself to that inner witness in, in the ministry that God would have for your life every day as a, you know, T.I.? Are you examining yourself or are you searching for the externalized forms of answers? You know, that's the real question. Do you seek God's holy witness in the interim, you know, to transform that inner man so that you may have the inner witness that Tozer is speaking of? And, I, and I, I, I've resoundingly, I have listened to similar testimonies along the historical timeline that have 
totally become fruitful for um, spiritual abundance in the exact way without ever actually reading. You know, there have been times where the Spirit has, has conveyed to me certain things that I have uh, later on in the, in the historical timeline have come to read about some of the ancients or the, or the you know, the apologetics or the, you know, the belief, the, the, the men of God, uh, the preachers, had said some of the same things. Now, not, not always in direct, the, with the same language, but with the same intent of heart, you know, in desiring to overcome uh, the earthly heart condition, the human heart condition, um, in reverence for, um, a change of heart by way of the Holy Spirit, the the inner sanctum of that, desiring that, and being and you know becoming witness to that, where you know some of these some of these people, uh, I I I will keep as an open ended question, and my answer. if finally received in spirit to who they are, um, I pray it comes about at some point in time, you know. But when, like, for example, I don't, if I don't know something, if I doubt something about somebody and who they are, and the spirit doesn't lead me that way, I feel it's fine, you know. Look, the, not only is the world in disarray, the community that we're in is... is, is it's a bit askew. It's kind of all over the place in terms of, uh, of belief pattern. And I think if you can unlayer that, that externalized form of patterning for yourself, you can get to a concrete inward sanctification of having an existence where it's not that you're it's not meant to be about the isolation in the physical accord. It's about the um, well-spent alone time. Uh, in your inner witness with God. And that's when I believe a person is really struck by God, is nearest to God is um, is in for the most realistic of, of reality checks. And that's when the spirit really can lead. You know? And so, the doubt that you have about externals, about who's real and who's not, I don't think it's really. You don't have anything to prove to anybody. If, if you're a real TI, you know that you know. And it's a, it's a work of the spirit. It, it's an act of the spirit. Uh, to have you not worry about the things that you doubt and, and um, to start being a certain way that God desires in your life to be close to you. Um, and so some things you might have to let be as an open-ended question and that might remain as the answer for some time, you know. Look, the Holy Spirit is of the eternal. We don't see it in this dimension, but we are of it. So the sustenance is to remain the same to it, to the things that we can't see. And um, yeah, that's that's where I hope this week can you can you can receive of God through the week in the, in this manner in this way of just quality alone time for a reason with God, you know, and um, I think once this happens, we'll be in a, a, not just a season, you know, this isn't, look, we go through seasons as, as persons and as individuals, but we're talking about something so much greater. We're talking about his eternal preeminence through the totality of, of his word, of the story that, that he's allowing in order for in order for himself to overcome our lives and um, 
when we can start seeing that, that's where we, when we're alone with God, we truly are existing to the manner that God is good, you know, and not really worrying about whatever else is happening around us. And so, I'm going to leave you guys with that today. Just some, um, hopefully some directed spiritual um, encouragement for you guys that can receive this in spirit and truth. I guess I could say the last piece is to, you know, make it a point this week that put it into your understanding that we're, you know, make it a point that where you are, God is. As if not to replace God, but to know that you know this week. That's what remaining in the faith is. Not self-assuredness, but confidence in our Lord, Jesus Christ. So, all right, guys. Well, continue. Till the next one, Godspeed.